Hey guys, how's it going? I got a quick video here on Kirill Sutsarath and how to kill him using ranged. I'm going to go over a quick little gear setup, information on his minions, and how to get the kill done. So let's dive right into it. So the setup is actually very similar to Commander Zilyana. You want to maximize your ranged attack bonus, but for Kirill Sutsarath, you want to maximize your magical defense because he will be using protect from range and tanking his magic minion instead of protect from magic like you would for Commander Zilyana. Now this gear can all be upgraded to better equipment. If you can afford it, I would recommend it. However, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be keeping it mid-level. And I'm keeping the inventory pretty simple too. Range pot, prayer pot, antidote, food. Ceridome and brews and super restores are a great alternative, but you can use whatever you'd like. For the secondary, I'm using a blowpipe to finish off the minions. You could also bring your rune pouch so you can cast blood spells to heal off the minions, but I'm just using the blowpipe. So before I get into the kill overview, let me just quickly go over his minions. We have Bolfra Kriath, his magic minion, Stan and Karlak, his melee minion, and Zackal and Gritch, his ranged minion. Like I mentioned before, you will be using Protect from range, so his ranged minion is irrelevant. His melee minion is fairly inaccurate, so you don't have to worry about him too much. Bolfra Kriath, his magic minion, is accurate, so you're going to be taking damage from him, which is why you want a high magic defense. That way you can tank as much as possible. And as long as you use the proper prayers, Creel should not do too much damage. The only damage you should really take is his special attack. So here's a map layout of the fight. It's a bit different from Commander Zilyana because she has such a big room. You could just go from corner to corner. Here it's much smaller, so you can't really do that. I've labeled the spots 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 for reference. I'll wait for Creel to be in the south part of the room. I come through the door, head north to spot 1, shoot him once. From 1 to 2, you shoot him once. From 2 to 3, you might be able to shoot him twice, but I just shoot him once to play it safe. From 3 to 4, you shoot him once. From 4 to 5, you actually don't shoot at all. You change your protection prayer from range to melee because you will run into him. You could tank it if you want, but I would recommend to change the prayer. And then from 5 to 1, you can change it back to protect from range and you start the cycle back over. So here's the fight. Go ahead and pot up, drink a stamina potion, and go in once you see the south part of the room which I guess is technically to the west, but whatever. Go ahead and run to spot one, protection from range and rigor, and start the cycle. I actually messed up in the first half of this fight. The food pile on the ground is where you want to click to start running over. I kept clicking past it and then running over, which is a little too far. So you want to click where the food is approximately and then run over. I fix it in the second half of the fight and it becomes much easier. So during this fight, the main source of damage you're going to take is from the magic minion, which is why you want a high magical defense bonus. That way you can negate the attacks as much as possible. And then from Creel himself, if he uses his special attack, when you run from spots 4 to 5 and you change your protection prayer to protect from melee, if he uses a melee attack, you're fine. He's going to hit a 0, but sometimes he uses a special attack. And at that point, there's nothing you can do about it. So hopefully he just doesn't use it quite often, and then you'll be just fine. Just make sure you keep up with the prayer switching and everything will be good. So after you kill him, here I use the blowpipe to finish off his mage minion first, and then the melee, and then the range. 
Really, the order is up to you. But if you have blood spells, what you want to do is get his melee and range minion together, and then heal off of them, and then you blow pipe the mage minion. So that is all I have. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. It's going to be a little rough in the beginning as you learn this, but as you do it more and more, it'll get easier and easier, and you can extend your trips much longer.